Hi, Chip Peterson back in Developer's Corner. Every week we're going to try to release a video that answers questions about 2011's Hunt and Strike, the new version. So our question this week comes from Phil in Arkansas and he asks, Chip, are there any hot spots that you like in the first two tournaments? First two tournaments are very important to get yourself going. So Phil, I got a couple spots I like to I'll share with you, kind of my secret location, so I promise not to tell anybody. But the big thing I want to say is, first of all, it's really important in this game to pre-fish. That's why we built it into the game, very much like a real tournament, is that you need to go out and learn that lake. If you know that lake, you're going to win that tournament. So you should cruise across all the lakes and then use your fish finder to find the hot spots. Of course, you're going to find spots that don't have the tournament fish, but that's fine because sometimes it's better to know not where to go than where to go during these tournaments because they're only 20 minutes long and you need to get the biggest fish you can especially as you move up in the tournaments um, going into the pro series or if you're going from arcade to pro it's going to be tougher as well so all I can important thing to remember is pre-fish 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 so when you're going out on a lake make sure you you use the GPS you know by pressing the at Z button that brings up the map as you see here and then you press the one button to mark your hot spots that you want to go to. Um, I have a number of spots marked I always when I go out fishing um, that helps me know where I want to go um, because just like real fishing you could be out in a tournament and the place that you fished and pre-fished that was doing well for you may not do well in, in tournaments. I actually was almost skunked in one of my own tournaments so it's, it can be random sometimes, just like real fishing. You could be hot one day, and the next time that fish aren't there, or the, the lunkers aren't there. They're only small ones are biting, or maybe they're not biting on what you're casting. So you want to make sure that you have some other places to go. So the first lake that we're going to go to is uh, Lake Tahoe in Texas. That's the very first lake in the tournament. It's largemouth bass. And so looking at the map here, just to get some landmarks to know where we are is, if you're doing pre-fishing, you're going to start out here by this star. Okay. During the tournament, you start out at the lower part, southern, the southwest part of the lake. And my hot spot that I like to fish in um, is a little away from a lot of the other action on the lake. It's actually over here in this corner. And it's really easy to get to. That's the nice thing is that you can start over here in the tournament and then drive almost directly straight across the lake. So as you notice, I already have my, my hotspot there marked. So I'm going to press Z, pop out of the lake, drive in, put it on my fish finder. It's really nice cover. As you get closer in here, you can see that my fish finder is spotting fish. It's, you know, around 13 feet deep. We have a dock here for cover. There's also some trees over here. And there's a lot of weeds underneath here, so there's some bass that are hanging out in here. So this is my one hot spot that I really like um, in the first tournament. And I usually go here first, and then after a while, you know, you may I'll fish it out, you know, or they'll stop biting. So I need to go someplace else. So that's our my first tip once again is Lake Toho. It's in the far corner. I I suggest that you pre-fish around the whole lake, but I would mark this spot. So that's our first lake. So our second lake we're going to go to is, is Lake Pickwick. That is the second lake in the tournament. And at Lake Pickwick is down in Tennessee. It's a smallmouth bass tournament. And this tournament is tough. Uh, a lot of people have, have problems with this right away because it's the competition is really tough in arcade, even in pro. Um, a lot of times you're going to need around 20 pounds of fish to, to really to place in this tournament. So I'm going to select in here, go into pre-fish, launch this up. And the important thing about this lake is it's a big lake. There's, there's many places that you can go to find smallmouth bass. Um, the place that I actually found, I found it by accident. I found it by quick fishing. So this is, once again, a good thing about if you're quick fishing, 
to use that GPS and to mark your spots because you never know when you're going to find a, a hot spot that you may use. So we'll jump through here real quick. And once again, to get our bearings, I'll put up flash Z and we'll get the GPS map. So we are right here. This is for pre-fish. This is where you start out in the pre-fish. This is where the tournament spot is. And then here it is, tucked up in this little finger corner here. You wouldn't think about it, but it is a, has been a great spot for me. So as you notice also, the conditions are different. In pre-fish, we're actually fishing in the morning. So we have some morning fog on the screen here um, as, you're, as you're driving through. And you want to tuck yourself along the coast there, as you see driving along, kind of all those fingers sticking out. And I'll shoot through here. And then once again, you can see my mark coming up. Once again, here is the pre-fish, here is the tournament. Here's my hotspot. Who's in here? One thing that helps you here a little bit is there is also a hidden location. That's marked by these red buoys that are on the screen. So you can see I've already been here. Important once again, find all the hidden locations and you're going to get that $15 um, Bass Pro Shop gift card that's going to help you buy some, buy some lures. I'm going to turn on my fish finder. And I tuck myself right in here. You may want to, you know, use your trolling motor to get yourself located where you want to go. Turn off my fish finder there to give you a better view. And they're tucked right back in here. There's a bunch of weeds underneath the water here. So I'll show you. I'll do a quick cast. And I'm using a drop shot. I like to use the drop shot. It's a little dark on the screen right here. But within these weeds, there is a ton of, of smallmouth. But once again, you could be, you could fish it out. They may not be biting, so make sure that you have other fish on board. Um, and I want to show you something very else. Another thing that's very important is look how far away you are from the tournament uh, landing. Um, so if you're all the way across this lake, it almost takes two minutes to travel across to this point here. So every pound counts. So if you're late one minute in this tournament, you lose a pound. And when you're doing a smallmouth tournament, one pound can really make a difference. So my suggestion to you, if, if you're fishing here or anywhere in this area here, and your time starts to run out, you hit that two minute mark, it gives you the warning, you hightail it back. You get back to that tournament landing because you don't want to lose any points. Usually this is the tough, I'll be honest, this is one of the toughest tournaments where it's it's separated by ounces, usually in the, in the top five. So you really, you don't want to lose anything. So that's my hot spot, tucked up here in the corner for smallmouth bass on Lake Pickwick, which is the second lake. So once again, I hope that these suggestions help you. Keep those letters coming in. If you want more information, you go to BassProShopGames.com. The URL will be on the bottom of the screen here. Um, get all your information out. Also go to Facebook. Um, we'll have likes on there. So keep fishing. Keep sending in your questions. And I'll keep trying to answer them. So thanks a lot and see you on the lake. Bye-bye.